Assalamualaikum students. Hope you all are fine and safe at your homes. Today let's learn unit number four fractions. What is fraction? A fraction is a part of a whole. It represents one or more equal parts of a whole object. Look at the fraction three fourth or three quarter. The number above the line is called the numerator. It indicates the number of equal parts considered. The line is called the fraction bar or the division bar. The number below the line is called the denominator. It indicates the total number of equal parts the whole is divided into. Look at the circle. It is divided into four equal parts. And from all these parts, three parts are blue and one part is orange. Now, this fraction shows three quarter of the figure. Do you know a fraction is also a part of a set? Look at an example. Take a set of four bottles. Three are blue and one is orange. Here we say three quarter or three fourth of the bottles are blue. Okay, let's see like and unlike fractions. When two or more fractions are given, depending on the value of their denominators, they can be termed as like and unlike fractions. Let's see what are like fractions. Fractions with the same denominators are called like fractions. For example, two quarter and three quarter have the same denominators. So these are like fractions. Unlike fractions. Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, two eighths and five sixths have the different denominators. So these are unlike fractions. Addition of like fractions. Let's see how to add the like fractions. To add like fractions, we simply add the numerators and write the common denominators as it is. And how to add unlike fractions? To add unlike fractions means fractions with different denominators. We need to convert the fractions to equivalent fractions with the same denominators and then add. Okay, now take out your math copies. Make the title page of unit 4 fractions and write exercise. Let's review from page 52, question number 1. Find the sum of the following fractions. Write part A, 5 7th plus 9 7th. Question question number 1 from page 52, part A, 5 upon 7 plus 9 upon 7. If we have the same denominators, we will simply add the numerators and the denominators will remain same. Let's see how we will solve it. First, we will write 5 plus 9 and we will write the common denominator that is 7. Now add the numerators that is 5 plus 9. 9 plus 5 is equal to 14 and the denominator will remain 7. So we have 14 upon 7. Okay now we will see that can we write this fraction in the simplest form by dividing 
the numerator and denominator with the same number? Yes, we can divide it with the number 7. 7 ones are 7. 7 twos are 14. Now we have the answer 2 upon 1. Have you all done? Good. Now class 5, do part C by yourself and your copies. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Question number 2, find the difference of the following fractions. Today we will only learn how to add and subtract the like fractions. In our next class, we will learn how to add and subtract the unlike fractions. So write question number 2, part A, 3, 4, minus 1, 4. We will subtract the like fractions in the same manner as we did in addition. We will simply subtract the numerators. First we will write 3 minus 1 and 4 as it is as common. 3 minus 1 is equals to 2 upon 4. Okay, now tell me, can you... Can we divide the numerator and denominator with the same number? Yes, we can divide it. 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. Now we will write in the simplest form 1 upon 2. This is the answer. Okay, now complete part C of question number 2 from page 52 in your copies. In the next class we will add and subtract unlike and mixed fractions. Thank you.